2. Occlusal plane construction and options of its space orientation. For this we need individual models and CBCT, where we will use advanced cephalometry. Let's go through a simple digital protocol. The position of occlusion plane relatively Frankfurt, hip and Stamian Xi planes. Occlusion plane built on dentition of the lower jaw. We hide CBCT. Remove upper jaw in the section, individual models, and put three points on the lower jaw dentition. In advanced cephalometry of tomography section we find bone points. We need an sizal point of the lower jaw, is incision inferior. Place it on the cutting edge of the incisor, it will be the first point. Next two points will be placed on molars they are in the end of the list, osteal. Put first point on the molar 46 or 47 then put point on the molar 36 or 37. After that in the planes, bone, activate occlusal plane. For easy calculation activate Frankfurt plane. Frankfurt plane is lined between two porion and two orbital points. Now to find angles between occlusal and Frankfurt planes we need to open angles in the sagittal projection directory. Between Frankfurt and occlusion plane angle is 8, 8 degrees. It's a range of normal for Frankfurt occlusal angle. Also, we can see orientation of occlusal plane to hip plane. Here if we would like, for example, to parallelize these two planes, we need to calculate it somehow. This is a simplified calculation. If we want to build occlusal plane surface and export it in any modeling program we need to open, tomography, section. Find, occlusal surface, click, show occlusal surface. Then using, manual, mode we can correct characteristics of 3D occlusal surface, orientation. If we want to parallel this occlusal surface to hip or camper plane, we open, rotate parallel to the plane, and choose one. We can use manipulator to move or correct positioning in any direction. Also, you can select Frankfurt plane to parallel with occlusion surface and count angle to this plane, bring her back to normal position according to Frankfurt plane. For this you also use manipulator or numbers and change its orientation. Now we can export it like a 3D object. For export you need select the subsection of export. Then select what kind of reference plane you need. Very important. Reference plane should be the same, as reference plane for exporting individual models. All the 3D objects must be exported with same settings. For example, if you exported individual models orientated to Frankfurt plane, the occlusion surface must be exported also orientated to Frankfurt plane. Then select program which you will work with, Exocad, Zircon Ceramel, in lab or initial coordinates. Select articulator and click, export occlusal surface. <laughs>